Pit.com to win. Good luck. Thanks, Mike. In the pit, no less. Sounds Love delightful. Bon yes. All right, the Canada Day long weekend is here, and odds are you're going to find yourself uh, at some sort of get together, maybe planning one yourself. Chef Paul Schufeld joins us in studio. Welcome. Welcome. Yes, All the way from Edmonton, correct? You bet. You My bet. hometown. Yeah, We're happy to have go. you here. I know you're doing something with salmon, but first of all, what, what is that? We've got uh, lobster corn dogs over there. <gasps> just a couple of fun appetizers, taking something classy like lobster and just bringing it down a notch. And Do you actually serve that in the restaurant? Uh, this used to be on the menu at the restaurant, but we thought we'd bring it back for this uh, for this visit. That's fantastic. So if you're having a backyard dish. barbecue, everyone's rushing for that. So what, what are you going to make yeah, here yeah. with the salmon? So we're going to do some smoked salmon blinis. Uh, so again, sort of a take on uh, a stamp type dish, you know, pancake breakfast. Well, we're doing a savory pancake uh, with a little bit of smoked salmon on it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to uh, quickly throw our dry ingredients together and put our bl a blini batter or pancake batter together. Is that pretty much of, all it is, a pancake batter? It's a savory pancake. So I've got a little bit of sugar, a little touch of salt here. Uh, I've got some whole wheat flour, some uh, beautiful GMO-free Alberta wheat. There you go. Uh, a little bit of baking powder, one egg. Looks pretty simple. And, yeah, pretty straightforward. Maybe if you made I a pancake at home, you could probably do that. You could, you could, you could, you could probably it. do that. So you just want to work the ingredients together till they're a smooth consistency. Just like so. Looks nice and healthy. You bet. Mm. Yeah, you bet. Where can this go wrong? What can I do? Uh, <laughs> can be, screw this It can up. tend to be a little bit too dry or a little okay. bit too wet. If that's the case, if it's a little too dry, uh, add a touch more milk. Yeah. If it's a little bit too wet, add a touch more flour. Just do it sort of bit by bit before you get too far. Yeah, so that's what you want to do with that. I've got some that we've already uh, prepared It's the magic here. of television mm -hmm. here. Yeah, you wow. Give it sort of uh, five minutes to rest before yeah. you uh, go to the pan. We've just got a little touch of oil. I don't want a lot of uh, fat in my pan. And I use, I uh, kind of do a silver dollar size, I would say. You want mm -hmm. them to sort of be one bite, two bite uh, type appetizers. Just like so into the pan. Perfect. And uh, they're just going to cook like a pancake. Probably take about two to three minutes. While those are going, though, we can get our, uh, our sauce that's going to go with it together. So we've got a little bit of uh, sour cream here. Got about two tablespoons worth of fresh chives. And what's what this is here? This? Yeah. this is actually a fresh horseradish. Often oh, really? you see pickled horseradish yeah. in the rest okay. or, uh, in a grocery store. Yeah. This is actually fresh and it just really has a nice punch of flavor. So I'm going to take sinuses right out. <laughs> you, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just going to take a little bit of lemon zest, like so, about a teaspoon worth. It I'm going to take so about yummy. a yeah fragrant, right? Just a punch of flavor. And then the same thing with the horseradish. But I'm going to do about a tablespoon worth. So I'm just using my rasp here or a microplane to grate it up. Is that as strong as the kind you get in the bottle when uh, it's fresh it, like that? Yeah, I find it even actually has a little bit more punch, mm. a little more flavor. It all depends on the root as well, too. I remember even as a child, my grandmother would uh, grow horseradish in her garden. And uh, some years it would be very pungent and very strong. And some years so it would actually be a little bit more. Jars, yeah, little no, bit more exactly. Mild. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Hey, you, uh, Linda mentioned you're from Edmonton. Uh, you got a lot of stuff going on there with restaurants and stuff. Tell you us bet. a little bit more about that. Yeah, we've got a great restaurant group, uh, Century Hospitality Group. We've got uh, six locations, anything from uh, a casual burger bar uh, to our uh, German-style beer hall, Been to all the, the way up Ooh. to a modern steakhouse and uh, sort of a supper club. So, and you're opening a new Italian. Yeah, we've got yeah, an Italian place awesome. coming up uh, in, later, later in September. And you also write a food column, don't you? Yes, I do. I actually write for the, the Edmonton Sun, and I just actually started writing for the uh, Huffington Post as really? well. Really? Good for so. you. Yeah, lots of Where do you have time to do that in between making uh, your in, in, lobster, in my, corn in my, dogs, in my and sleep, all the rest? In my yeah. sleep. Uh -huh. So this goes a flip like so. Another minute on that side. While they're cooking, though, we can actually start putting some that I've had prepared together. What's uh, the most important thing to remember when you're planning the menu for a, a big backyard barbecue or event? Uh, keep it within your within your capabilities. Uh, <laughs> you know, the last thing you want to do is pretend that you're the next Martha Stewart or <laughs> Paula Dean or yes. something like that, and uh, fail miserably. So. Keep it within your means. Try to think of things that you can do as much in advance as possible mm -hmm. as well, too, so you actually have time to spend with your Yeah, guests. that you can socialize and not be stuck right. in the kitchen. Slaving exactly. away the whole time, right. Going to top these off now with a little bit of preserved lemon. So I made these... I've never uh, seen that before, either. They, they take about uh, two to three weeks to prepare, but, man, they just... I don't know if you can smell the aroma coming off them. Oh, it's just so fragrant. Delicious. Eh? Awesome. Just a little bit of uh, lemon vodka, and then uh, uh, the lemons themselves, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. Awesome. I can't believe Perry Salkowski uh, hasn't come No, he will. He'll be in here any second. Now. <laughs> hey, you know, we're out of time, but uh, so plate that up there. This this yeah. is fantastic. And i got to say, the crispy 
lobster corn dogs. Yeah, I we're gonna have a little taste of that. Yeah, I have to go there. Thank yeah. you. Paul, thanks for coming in. Those look fantastic. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. All right, thanks again. Still to come on CTV News from BC to Boston, the pride of Kamloops is NBA bound.